Good afternoon, good evening. Welcome to the iMoot 2017 session on wikis and whatnots from Ian. Um, I'm excited to hear what you have to say about wikis and learn something from you today, as I'm sure we all are. Go for it. Okay, thanks, Kerry. And I'll start by publishing the graph. And so we see that we've got three people who have used Oh, sorry, there's two people who have used a Moodle wiki before and one who have used another one, which was um, SharePoint. I'm going to show you a whole lot of different things that um, a whole lot of different ways in which Moodles have been used, or well, wikis have been used. When I started off this, I was thinking that it was very much an underutilized educational experience, and that was my experience in the institution that I work in. But uh, in preparing this talk, I have found uh, hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of examples of uh, wikis being used at primary and secondary level. And in one of the references I've put at the end, there's a list of about 500 uh, wikis and the teachers involved and what the purpose is, and you can link to them. So um, I was thinking, is this a, an effective competency-based training that we use? that uh, it discourages that sense of collaboration and or is it more that learning uh, becomes more individualized as we move up the um, oh, up, uh, the age group and as we focus more on qualifications. Anyway, let's move on and see. Here's a wiki and so the essences of a wiki. This one's about sustainable roofing and you'll see that there's um, an edit button, that's the essential part of any uh, wiki that there's. First of all, it's a website. You can link to other pages within it, but the essential part is that it's got um, uh, the edit button so anyone who can have access to that button can make changes to it. You'll see in this case, there's a sign in or a sign up option to limit who can have access to it. At one stage, I was um, uh, uh, looking at uh, digital storytelling uh, on Wikipedia and Carol McCulloch, um, um, a wonderful uh, e-learning person, uh, had written uh, <clears throat> a few pages on st digital storytelling in Wikipedia. The, um, but when I went in to have a look at it, uh, it was all messed up with terribly inappropriate information and some commercial links and whatever that were nothing to do with digital storytelling. So I just went in there and um, reverted it back to what it was like because Wikipedia has got a history in there. So I just reverted it back to what it was like before it had been corrupted and uh, then it was all fine again. I told her about it when I met her, met up with her six months later. And uh, it's just one of those nice things that the group um, fixes things up. So, um, so uh, yeah, oh, a few other things you can see on here. There's a, um, a table of contents and there's a discussion thing. So a wiki it doesn't have to have a discussions option, but one of the nice things, if you have the discussions op option and Moodle's wiki does, it's called comments rather than discussions, um, people can be discussing what should be on this page. So that highlights some of the difference, or one of the differences between a discussion and a, uh, and a wiki. The wiki page is focused on content. It's focused on a particular subject or uh, and a series of topics, whereas a discussion is organised by a sequence of uh, he said this, she said that, he, she said that, and she said that. Okay, going from sustainable roofing to Mrs. Ibrahim's second grade wiki, you can see here that, and if I make this a bit bigger. The, the children have written, we are as a group of second graders in Southern California who are using technology to help us share with what we're learning with the world. Isn't that a most boggling sentence? That um, both they're second graders and they're talking to the world. And what what sense of importance does that give the, what you're learning? That you need to write it well because the whole world is able to, able to see it. 
you can see the the students uh, first names in there um, and also you'll see that they've got a they've put in a tag cloud so in this wiki which comes from wiki spaces i think this um, wiki enables them to put in particular um, uh, widgets and this the tag cloud let's uh, see which words uh, show much more frequently than other words and so the word writing is one of the most popular or is the most popular word uh, and we can see writing here and we can see writing here and so the word the word writing is actually uh, one of the most common words in the this wiki and social studies and then science and you can see uh, uh, other words are involved so Normally, a wiki will have a whole lot of text and that will have um, uh, images and things like that, but there are some like the wiki spaces and others that uh, enable other things to go in here. You can see in here a Wordle uh, that's, that they've put in there as well. The other th interesting thing about this wiki is that it's being used in all, uh, in all their subjects. So they're keeping track of it. So it's not just a particular exercise, or uh, uh, but it's being used right across the class. This one's at a quite different level. So this one's uh, British literature coming from a school in Wales. And again, I'll go in a bit. So in here they've got... Uh, assignments about the, the Beatles and Canterbury Tales and Hamlet but they're using this one they've had a, a guest speaker Mr Dave Stacey and so uh, there were topics that were put in here or questions that were put in here to start the whole thing off so there was a bit of a template that was here uh, that the teacher put in and then other people have put in uh, or maybe the students have put the questions in there that they wanted to ask um, the speaker. And then there's a whole lot of summary that they put in here. So it's keeping track of uh, a talk that, that has been done. Here's a different one, again from Britain. Um, and this one's characterising um, what's romanticism about in England. And so there's... Um, there's Turner's paintings and uh, and there's Elgar's music and you can see here there's uh, Elgar and there's Clementi and there's um, John Field I think is the other one that's oh there he is. So the students have been writing this. Uh, the teacher uh, set it up and the students have been uh, comparing uh, classical and romantic music and whatever. But in here, there's a couple of interesting things as well as the actual content. One's student feedback and the other's um, the teacher's reflection. And on the next slide here, I've got, um, I've just snapped a bit of the student feedback. And if I make it a little bit bigger, I thought this one was interesting. And this um, one student, or James said, I think this project was the most practical project I I've ever done in an English high school class. This project forces all members of the group to work as a team and to communicate. It also forces those students who are not technologically savvy uh, to use the computer and get used to projects of the future. The wiki site is a great place to work and find information because it's for students made by students. I think that shows the essence of a wiki. That, um, He's owning it, he's enjoying it, he's active, and there's a, um, a sense of belonging that's there. Okay, so um, now if I, I'll actually try and do the sh screen sharing and start that and have to download the screen share again and then activate that and as long as I remember to do that, it all works nicely. So it's downloading the screen share. I don't know why it has to do that every time because it's already, I've used it many times. And now I run it and we're now sharing. And if I go into, 
the honors Brit. I think you can now all see this. And um, so if I go and oh, sorry, it's the wrong one. Oh dear. I'll just go into the romanticism one. And that's just coming down the wire now, and then it'll go to your wires in a minute. There we are. And if I go into my reflection, I thought this was interesting that he puts his own reflection in here as well. And so what did this teacher think? If you couldn't really tell, I love doing this project. I think it's fantastic for all the reasons stated above. And here are a few observations. He would have more in-class hands-on wiki time. He says, I definitely overestimated some of my kids' facility in this, with the technology. I made the assumption that because they knew how to use Word, this would be a snap, but the skills did not transfer. Well, well. More, more time to allocate in class. One of the projects, one of the benefits of this project is that, is that it much class time was fr uh, freed up. If, this is a good English. Is that it much type? class time was freed up to focus on other elements of our romantic unit. But based on the feedback from, I got from my kids, I'm thinking I may allow a little more time for them to get together in class uh, to discuss issues or go over information next time. Okay, the other, another interesting one was he would require edits and comments on other group's wikis. Yeah, he says, I can't believe I overlooked this this time round. It's definitely on my to-do list for next time. He would also require a minimum number of direct links to external sources. I toyed with this idea in developing my current assignment, but decided against it as I wasn't sure that if, if it would overwhelm the kids. But for an honours or an AP level uh, course, I'm thinking maybe 15 to 20 links to high quality sources, not just Wikipedia. Um, and he'd also provide more specific assessment criteria and uh, uh, so I thought that was uh, interesting here, his reflection on using a wiki. All right, I shall turn off, go back to big blue button and turn off the screen sharing. And now we're back here and we can move on to the next slide. Oh. Not all... Uh, not all the uh, wikis uh, are collaborative ones. You can use them as a private one. Moodle allows either a private or a collaborative one, or individual or collaborative, I think, they, is the choice. And a private one enables you to keep a journal of uh, what's been happening, uh, sorry, to keep for the student to keep a journal. Uh, and it's visible just to the teacher. So the other students don't see it. But it enables them to make a web page that describes all sorts of things that they've been doing. And so it might be a, a, a log of what they've been doing in work experience, or it might be uh, that they're researching a particular topic. One student of a teacher that I was helping uh, was rather uh, alienated from schools and all that sort of thing. He didn't participate in class much. But when he was encouraged to uh, to do a, a, a project on World War One, and he could copy and paste things from all over the net. Now, this was a uh, year seven, year eight sort of student, and so uh, it was a matter of getting him involved and getting him started to write, uh, rather than having the higher levels of uh, accountability that we might have, and that could uh, certainly follow. Uh, but that uh, really got him um, engaged back in learning and in a school environment. So it was a terrific uh, example. How do you set it up so it's private? When you um, start uh, up a, a wiki, there's a choice uh, of, of what type do you want? Do you want it to be uh, collaborative or, um, or individual? Okay, I love wikis. Well, first of all, because they're easy. Um, there's just an edit button. You click on the edit button and you start typing and you press save and it couldn't be much easier. There's no, um, in the essence of it, there's no uploading or uh, um, anything like that. And because the students have all got access to Moodle, uh, there's no, there's no, uh, no complications. So 
I think um, they're very easy. I also like it because they do the work. It's active learning. It's putting the, the learning in the hands of the learner. And the, so the students are um, accumulating information and getting it up there. Uh, it doesn't need, well, in Moodle, of course, it's not visible to uh, the rest of the world. Uh, it's only visible to your class. But it, it is uh, uh, constructivist uh, learning in the best sense of it. And uh, if the students are doing the working, uh, then they're really doing the learning. OK, they're messy. Um, a lot of uh, education, we think, is orderly because we go through a particular sequence. But learning itself is not uh, is not that uh, ordered. It's often uh, rather more. Oh, I understand this. Oh, well, I don't understand that bit. And as you're working on it initially, it's messy. In a wiki, you see the uh, the community being evolving. Um, people are contributing, uh, people are owning it, people are negotiating with other learners, um, and individual contributions are being valued because they're actually appearing on the page and then they might get refined and the grammar might be developed and, the, uh, uh, and what's being said will be changed by other people. But uh, progressively, the page becomes the group work They're risky. You can't control exactly what's happened in the classroom. You can't control what what has happened uh, on the wiki. But as Jimmy Wales, who set up Wikipedia, said when he came to Melbourne one time, he said, you don't take knives from restaurant patrons on the basis that they might stab each other in the back. You, uh, you work out how you're going to cope with um, well, in fact, first of all, it's a matter of trusting, isn't it? Um, and people don't generally knife each other in the back in a restaurant. Uh, we tolerate a certain level of risk in our community. There are safeguards that are built into it in wikis, and one is the history, like I described, uh, with the uh, digital storytelling page on the wiki, Wikipedia. So you can easily revert things back to how they were and undo uh, things that have been done. There's also that tracking that you know exactly who said what and you can hold students to account for what they uh, have done and how they've uh, put it together. And they require a different role for the teacher. You can see as all these plants here are growing and um, it's like the ideas in a wiki and the text in the wiki are, going, are developing and growing. And just at the moment, I can hear just outside my house, my next door neighbour had put out a whole lot of rubbish to be collected and they've just chosen to collect it right now. So if you hear any rumbling in the background, uh, it's the garbage truck gobbling up his um, uh, hard rubbish collection. So going back to the uh, the teacher's role, um, the teachers they're much more encouraging and uh, organising. <laughs> right, can't hear it here. Yep. Okay, so the teacher's role is uh, maybe separating out the oh well the gardener's role is separating out the plants, um, ordering it, stopping one from over. Um, overwhelming all the rest of them, um, removing the weeds and that sort of thing. And similar for the teacher, uh, sometimes if the wiki gets a bit out of hand, then you may have to restructure it uh, a bit or, or at least help the students to uh, restructure it so that it maintains a good sense of flow and uh, an organisation of the, uh, the content. So again, it's that sort of thing that the teacher becomes the guide on the side rather than the sage on the stage. OK, I've actually set up a wiki uh, in Moodle for you to use in the iMoot 
and if you want to you can click on this one and you can go and join into the uh, the wiki that I've set up there I'll just show you a few things in there uh, about it first of all so this is just an image of the wiki page so you'll see uh, that yes we're viewing this page um, you see the edit button if you want to go uh, and change this page now I ask you not to change this page but if you want to you can go to any of the sand pits or the examples or the issues pages click on them and uh, and then you can one when, when you're in one of those other pages you can click on the edit button and add your comments so I should say uh, add your content and you can add comments about this page or whatever uh, about what you think about what the content should be or the history there is uh, showing the different versions of it as it was and in fact you can compare two different versions so you can compare version uh, 4 with version 5 and you can see who it was who made the change and exactly what change they made and, and you can revert it back there's also a map that shows a bit of the structure there are some files because you can add upload files to a wiki and the way you do that is you uh, just double click on a word uh, and then make a link uh, a web link and rather than going to the web you click on the little button that's on the right hand end of the of the web link and it'll uh, give the option to upload a file one other thing this uh, image was uh, taken of this page when there was no content in it and so um, the sandpit one two and three and the examples they're all showing it um, what it looks like when there's no content in the page it's in italics and it's in red after you've um, clicked on it clicked on edit and then added some content and saved it then this will be uh, not in italics anymore okay the other the other thing that i'll say is if you go into uh, sandpit 2 for example and then you want to put in a, a page about frogs the way you do it is this you simply put in the word frogs with double square brackets before and afterwards and that's how you make a new page um, that, that's what i did to create sandpit one and there it is and you, um, so these anything like this becomes a link and if there's uh, if it's a link to a non-existent page then Moodle will create the page as soon as someone clicks on it and uh, we'll see more about those links uh, later on so if you want to you can um, click on this one and that'll open up this uh, wiki in a, a new tab and you can do that while we're talking Moving on, here uh, we'll see a whole lot of examples. So first of all, um, uh, in fact, we'll talk about a whole lot of examples. So the first ex example, just as a class project, you might have uh, five groups who are each working on their own part of a project or their own topic of a project. And so you might set up a, a page for the red group and the red, another page for the green group and whatever. And then they can go in there whether they're working on it together in, uh, in the class or whether they're working on it at home. Uh, one difficulty with that kind of thing is that you can only have uh, one person editing a page at a time in the Moodle wiki. Uh, we'll talk about that more as we uh, further down this session. Here's another interesting idea that you can you could have your class following news uh, news stories and as the story grows and develops then the wiki can uh, be added to so that it uh, shows the up-to-date whole story and how it grew students could be writing a textbook together there is actually a wiki text um, uh, wiki textbook uh, website where students around the world have been creating textbooks in my organization um, we teach uh, fashion students and one of the teachers uh, set up a, 
uh, a wiki uh, that I called belts, buckles and bows, but they had materials and they had zippers and all sorts of things in there. And it was a place where students uh, could, as they went around Melbourne and found interesting little shops or when they went to the websites, um, they found good sources of the, of, um, of materials and whatever, they could uh, come back and put it into the wiki so that other students could uh, could see and use those sources. Okay, reviews of books and films. Now this particular example that I've given here is a blog rather than a, a wiki, but it forms a, a similar function uh, because uh, students are collaborating and sharing information. So what's the difference between a blog and a wiki? A blog is a single page usually, uh, and it's got different articles, uh, one after the other, and usually the most recent one is at the top. So it doesn't have the same structure as a, a wiki where you can uh, keep uh, track of um, a nice hierarchy of, uh, of contents. But um, And actually when we were introducing Moodle to uh, the staff at uh, Box Hill Institute, um, I set up a, a restaurant uh, wiki and as the teachers were learning about uh, Moodle, they came to the wiki part of it and uh, got them to put in their favourite restaurants and um, what they were like and they, some of them put the website of the restaurant and some of them put a photograph of the restaurant in there and it and was very quick and very uh, interesting and in the end we had sort of recommendations for hundreds of restaurants that was good fun too okay and another really good use of a wiki is uh, a, well a bit like this one with the fashion students uh, when a student finds a good a good website uh, they could put it up on the wiki so that other people, uh, other students studying the same thing, uh, could uh, could use that in their studies. Okay, now here's here are a couple of interesting ones uh, that are much broader. The first one, Bungaree, is a little town in Victoria, and the primary school and the historical society. Uh, the local historical society uh, were working together in this, this little town. And if I start the screen sharing again, um, we'll see this one and the next one. And save that and start that and run that. And now we're sharing again. And if I now go Oh, let's minimise that and we'll uh, go into wikis and whatnot and bungaree. So this one. Okay, it looks like we lost Ian. Uh, let's give him a second or two to see if he reconnects. I'm hoping he's able to get back in. Is this where I do my tap dancing? Only you can't see me tap dancing. I'm hoping he's able to get back in. I don't know about you guys, but I've uh, got some great ideas of how we can use wikis with our students. So why doesn't everyone just post something in the chat that they learned so far while we're waiting for him?
Okay, we have a question. Um, do I know or anyone else know if the wiki module on Moodle notifies the teachers of student work to add to the wiki? Honestly, Ethan, I haven't used a wiki in about, mm, God, four years now. Um, I'm not sure. I don't believe it notifies the teacher, but I'm not sure about that. Does anybody else know? Um, I haven't used them in a long time. I attempted them on a project many years ago. Um, but after watching this, I'm thinking I might give it another shot. It's been a long time since I've used them. I haven't used the, the marking block either. Does anybody else have a microphone they'd like to jump on? Oh, here we go. Ian's back. Okay. I just made him the presenters. So let's give him a moment to get himself back into the presentation. Oh, I'm back again. I don't there know you go. No, I, I got carried away with talking. Um, did you hear the beginnings of the Wedderburn Wonderings? I'm cutting in and out of the audio. I didn't hear that but that could be my audio so why don't you take it from there uh, did you see the bu the bungaree part of it my whole i'm i'm really just trying to catch up with you because i'm on a very slow speed so i'm not seeing like your screen sharing or anything so for me it started loading up the screen sharing and then it it dropped out um if anybody else wants to write in what the last thing they saw was i'm i'm on a very sketchy uh, myfi right now right so could people say uh, could just just say yes or no whether you saw the bungaree part of it this was the last screen i saw and i think you had clicked on the screen sharing it showed your desktop and then it went dead for me oh dear idea okay and look i'll have to um, monitor that more carefully okay i'll try that again and if it if i lose it well then i'll stop doing the screen sharing okay so just a minute, we'll just go there and start. And it has to download yet again, the screen sharing. But it's very quick this time. And so verifying the application, we run the screen sharing. We are now sharing and Okay, can, can you just say yes if you see it, see the screen sharing happening now? Good, great. And I'll keep an eye on it if much more careful than I did before. Okay, so if, if, I, if I now go to the, uh, the being green one, this is a bungalow as a little tiny town uh, in Victoria. And the primary school um, was relating to the um, uh, historical society. So the learning is actually going outside the school and it's being shared with the historical society. Bill Grigg uh, was an ex-student of uh, Bungary and, uh, when he was a kid. And uh, he came in and gave a talk to the school. And the prep and, um, and one, uh, year one, two and, uh, children Hi, is that all? Is that all going okay there? Yep. I'll assume it is. Um, so I just heard a little rattling of the microphone, but I presume it's okay. it's going okay. Um, yep. Okay. So back to Bungaree. Yes, um, it looks good right here. Ah, good. Good. So the the children uh, were. Um, writing up what was happening uh, and what, what Bill had said. The, the children were doing wonderful uh, drawings and things and uh, just really getting a feel for what the um, history had been like in that town. So quite wonderful. And for, uh, for first and second graders to be actually uh, using computers like this is a, is a fantastic thing, I think. And then, okay. The other thing that I was going to show was this one, the Wedderburn Wonderings, 
Wedderburn is another town in uh, in um, in Victoria near Bendigo, and uh, they were uh, they had this being green project, and they were actually sharing it with uh, uh, the primary school in Andale in Kansas, uh, and they were both studying the same uh, topic, and initially they started looking at uh, what was happening in a, a farm. And they found that there was some corn uh, grown as cattle food and it was called Milo. And so there was a bit of in interesting uh, sorting out that Milo for our students uh, or for the students in Victoria uh, meant a chocolate drink. And uh, uh, in Kansas, in the farms, it meant uh, corn grown as cattle food. One of the things that's... Uh, oh, so the uh, Andale students put in this uh, photograph of corn corn grown as cattle food, but uh, it was probably linked to some other website uh, that got changed and so this has disappeared. This part of it is really interesting because on th the Thursday, the 23rd of August, the Wedderburn students were talking. On the Monday, the Andale students were contributing to it, on, um, and the Tuesday and the Wednesday. On the Friday, it was Wedderburn. And uh, so sharing and growing information across the world. I thought that was absolutely fantastic. To okay. So, but you can also use them as a classroom space where, or as a whole school space. And in this, this one, let's see, I won't go into it now. This one, the, actually, I'll stop the um, sharing now. I'll stop, uh, stop the sharing and then it will just operate a bit faster. So uh, you can have a, a classroom space or a whole school space. And this one was keeping track of a whole lot of uh, competitions that were going on. Okay, but teachers can use them uh, as well, uh, either as a place to house all your projects or a means of sharing amongst teachers. And there's a, a link to a history resources one where a whole lot of history teachers are sharing good resources. But there's no reason why you shouldn't uh, use it amongst all the teachers in this, um, and putting things onto the staff meeting agenda. It changes the hierarchy, doesn't it? Okay, over to you. What are some examples that you've seen or um, you like the idea of? Um, so you can type in the text area in the chat area there. You can um, grab the microphone if you've got one. Um, and uh, and uh, I was going to say type on the whiteboard, but I gather it's only the presenter who can do that. But you can type in the chat area some um, either a way you have used it, uh, used a wiki, or that you might use a wiki or you're interested in using it. Ethan says, I'm developing a class on government to be ready for next fall, and I really like the idea of using a wiki to follow news stories as they progress. The trouble with the newspapers is that we see it at one stage and we see it at another stage, and so and so said such and such, and then you think, what were they responding to? And so it's a great idea that it could um, that you can follow a news story. Right? Yeah. Okay. I'll just wait for a little while for other comments, and then uh, we'll move on. Um, in fact, maybe I'll move on and you can keep typing in there as we go. Okay, here's a garden that's grown rather out of um, uh, order. Uh, got overgrown and the house is starting to fall down. And when you're using a wiki, or we use a wiki amongst the e-learning staff and the uh, IT staff, uh, at Box Hill Institute uh, to share lots of information and anyone can add to it. And so it's a fantastic way of uh, collaborating and we're all um, working for the same cause, you see. Uh, but one person's way of organising things is a bit different from another person. And so you do have to keep uh, track and you have to uh, reorganise from time to time. So think of yourself as a gardener and um, removing the weeds and reorganizing. 
Um, do you know, Ian, if wikis notify teachers when students add content? No, they don't, as far as I know. Um, I don't think there's that option at all like there is with uh, assignments or uh, or whatever. So at the, at the moment, Moodle's wiki doesn't notify teachers. Um, I'll, uh, okay, another thing to do is to set ground rules for students, and I've put an example in there. This PowerPoint's in the iMoot website, so you can come back to it and click on these things as you like. Uh, or you can click on it now and your uh, a new tab will open up and you can investigate it after the session. So um, set ground rules of um, what you expect and um, uh, and some people would like to uh, to be very orderly and for a, one student to consult another student first or uh, other teachers um, in other circumstances would like um, the web page to be improved and so if you see a spelling mistake you quickly fix it uh, so you need to work out exactly how you want the students to be well operating uh, encourage the use of discussion pages so uh, so that as well as the actual content people can uh, make comments about it and say this should be in it or have you got a uh, some evidence for that comment or uh, where did you get this from that sort of thing Okay, well, I've talked about the history a few times. Another way you can do it is to uh, to set up the wiki initially, and I think this is a very good idea. Maybe that you set up a page for each student, or maybe that each of the groups work on an assignment should have their own uh, page, and then they can make extra page within that. Um, or maybe you set up the different topics and students can add to it as they find information and the whole class can be working on all of the pages. It might be a good idea, like we saw with um, one or two of those uh, wikis, to have a, a template uh, with uh, headings or questions uh, to guide the structure of it on some of the pages. And there's some more suggestions in there about uh, uh, how teachers can use wikis Moodle's wikis, uh, now we saw the, uh, this uh, part of it before. Um, one thing I didn't mention was, see how I've called the homepage, in this case, wiki homepage. Even if you're on one of the Sandpit or examples pages or anywhere else around it, you could put in uh, wiki homepage in the double square brackets, and that will uh, provide a link back to the homepage. So that, and you can link backwards and forwards from one any page to any other page simply by putting the name of it in the square brackets. So this uh, enables all sorts of things that you could do. And one one thought was you could actually set up a scenario. It might be a scenario of um, you were driving along the road and you see a car accident and you stop and. Um, uh, uh, and you then have links to three choices. One choice might be to uh, pull the, uh, the driver out of the car. Uh, the second choice might be uh, to call the ambulance. And the third choice might be to look for dangers. And if you don't look for dangers, then you might find, uh, and you might find that another car comes along and crashes into you and that sort of thing. So you can actually use uh, a wiki as a scenario or the students can be setting up uh, a wiki as scenarios and ch with choices and risks uh, in the scenarios because it's all just happening on uh, on a web page. Okay, here are some traps. You can't change the home page name. Once you set it, uh, it's fixed. Uh, so uh, give a little bit of thought as to what you want to call it. Uh, normally, we use uh, the HTML um, uh, editor, whether it's TinyMC or the Atto editor. Uh, and so really, you'd like that to be the default. And you wouldn't like other ways. Uh, you wouldn't like students, when they create a new page, to be, um, to be asked, um, do they want Creole? in wiki or html complicated and unnecessary so if you click on the where it says uh, wiki type i think it is and you'll see that html is the default but if you click on force format then students won't be asked about in creole uh, in wiki or, or creole 
so you can save a bit of confusion that way. No two pages can have the same name because it, uh, the system wouldn't know which one to go to. So you have to watch out if you've got a Fred and Frieda and they've all got they've got their own pages, and uh, one might have um, Wednesday Wanderings, and so the other, oh, if Fred's got Wednesday Wanderings, then Frieda can't have Wednesday Wanderings as a new page name. That's one thing to worry about. Um, but you could always have uh, Wendy's Wednesday's Wanderings and Fred's Wednesday's, wand Wednesday's Wanderings, couldn't you? Okay, and with the Moodle one, uh, only one person can be editing a page at a time. And so when I set up, uh, if I'm teaching wikis at Box Hill, uh, I set up a the first page with links to a whole lot of other pages um, one for each teacher so that they can have a play. And I asked them not to change, like I asked you, don't change the home page, but and go into the other ones and have a play. You can certainly do that. Okay, Google Docs, which we'll come to, um, has a different way of operating. So other, other ways of using wiki, wikis or other platforms for collaboration. So forums are one. But um, forums have got quite a different structure, but often teachers are wondering, what's the difference between a forum and a wiki? A forum um, follows a um, he said, she said, he said, she said kind of thing. So, uh, and that creates the structure for it. Whereas the wiki, as we've seen, has got uh, pages that can relate to each other and have a contents page. Oh, one thing I didn't say was if you use the heading two style, I think it is, uh, in the HTML editor when you're creating uh, headings within a page, the Moodle's wiki automatically puts contents up the, uh, at the top. If you use the heading one style, it doesn't do that. And if you use a lower style, it doesn't do that. But I think it's particular to the heading two style. So that's the wikis. If you really need students to be collaborating on the same page at the same time, then use Google Docs. It's quite a remarkable thing and it works well. There are these other wet paint, uh, sorry, other wiki sites. There's Wikispaces and wet paint and PB Works. And Google have also got the Google sites, which effectively is a wiki. Here are some other references and uh, um, Okay, so here's some other references and I heartily recommend those. And this one's got about 500 different examples. All right, so any questions? And of course, that's the end of it. Ian, I'd like to thank you as by behalf of the um, iMoot team. This was a amazing presentation. You gave us lots of ideas for using wikis. I love the quote you said when you said you put the learning in the hands of the learners. Um, since the students work more than the teachers on the wikis, and I agree with you, learning is messy, and that's when real the real learning takes place. Um, having an opportunity to watch the students develop and refine their work is a fantastic way to assess their learning. And I think this is this uh, presentation has given me lots of ideas as to how I can use wikis in the future and I'm sure the rest of us have gotten some um, great ideas as to what we can do. I hate to wrap this up quickly but we have another session starting now um, so please join us for Scott's section next. Um, I believe it's the, oh goodness, my computer is all over the place because I my Wi-Fi is low. I believe it's um, tips for um, different ways to use Moodle. So forgive me for messing up that name uh, for his presentation, but I hope to see you all over there. And thank you again, Ian, for an amazing presentation. Oh, that's a pleasure. Thank you.